Hello viewers. I will try to explain shortly what is SS7 and what it contains. SS7 means signaling system number 7. This is a set of telephony signaling protocols that is developed in 1975. which is used to set up the world's public switch telephony network telephone calls. SS7 separates signaling from the voice circuits. SS7 network must be made up of SS7 capable equipment from end to end to provide the full functionality. The seven layers, same as the OSI layer, we have here seven layer, three layers on transport. MTP1, MTP2, MTP3 and top of transport layer we have SCCP, TCAP, MAP, INAP cap and beside this for the call control we have eyes up and top. I will give you a short description for each layer next. Message transfer part have three part here. MTP1 represents the physical layer which is responsible for the connection of SS7 signaling points into the transmission network. This is actually the physical link that we establish between two nodes. MTP2 this, this ensures exact end-to-end -end transmission of a message like the frame for each frame if there is any error the MTP2 will be responsible for resending the frame MTP3 provides the routing functionality to transport the message to the destination SCCP signaling connection control part this is the network layer protocol that provides the extended routing flow control message segmentation connection orientation error correction facilities in telecommunication networks SCCP relies on the services of MTP for basic routing and error detection. SCP is responsible for GT routing and the subsystem number. SCP contains parameters which describe the type of address, how the message should be routed like the address indicator. Within the address indicator, it will contain routing indicator, global title indicator, subsystem indicator, point code indicator. It also provides five classes of protocols to its application. Class 0, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4. Class 0 is basic connectionless, class 1 sequenced and connectionless, class 2 basic connection oriented, class 3 flow control connection oriented, class 4 
error recovery and flow control connection oriented TCAP TCAP this is the transaction capabilities application part same as the session layer in the OSI layer TCAP facilitate multiple concurrent dialogue same as the session in OSI layer between the same subsystems on the same machines using transaction IDs to differentiate this On top of TCAP, we have three application part MAP, INAP, and CAP. MAP is mobile application part. This is the basic application layer for different GSM nodes to communicate with each other to provide the service to the mobile users. This is the application layer protocol for HLR. VLR, MSC, SMSC and other known GSM nodes. INAP or CAP, INAP is the intelligent network application part. Extended form of INAP is customized as CAMEL. And the CAMEL application part is the CAP. This is the signaling protocol that is used for intelligent network architecture, basically for the charging mechanism. INAP is, is the application layer protocol to communicate with the service control point. ISAP. ISDN, user part. ISDN means integrated services digital network. ISAP is used to set up telephone calls in the public Swiss telephone network. In SS7, ISAP is only voice related messages or signaling to establish voice calls between two voice circuits. When a telephone call is set up from one subscriber to another, several telephone exchanges could be involved, possibly across international boundaries to allow a call to be set up correctly. But either be supported, a switch will signal call related information like call party number to the next switch in the network using ISAP message. But for before establishing the call, all routing related messages will be communicated using mobile application part with the map between HLR and MSC. Some related terms for signaling communication. What is link set? A set of MTP link from a form a link set. Node on each side of link set will identify using a point code. Source node defined as a source port, source point code. We name it SPC and destination node defined destination point code. We name it DC, DPC. SLC is a signaling link selection code. MTP layer define the number of every link within link set using SLC. What is GT routing? There must be a GT for every node. In case of GT based routing, message transfer between neighbor node using point code and SCCP layer check the GT in the routing table for next hop. In this example, see the message sent to destination GTZ and its neighboring point code is A, which is get from the routing table for this node. Z is this is the Z destination GT and the route the neighbor point code is A. This is the routing table. So the message is transferred to its neighbor point code. But when the message comes to the CCP layer, it checks that 
this message is not for this note and it's text to the routing table again and found that this destination jet gt is for point code b there is entry in the routing table and this message is routed again to next hop and message reach the destination thank you this is for now we will give you another detailed description on our next presentation